Welcome to Weekly Art Practice, week 34 already. Um, I'm not going to read the blog post out, because uh, I've been quite busy this week. Going back to work in my day job, um, general family stuff, and I haven't had time to, to sit down and actually record the reading of it. Uh, so I'm just going for a walk with my dog, and I'm just going to talk about it. Hopefully the sound quality comes out okay, but yeah, let's see how it goes. So first of all, we've been listing, um, I was accepted to sell my work in the hub in Swindon, uh, which is a community, community hub basically. Um, and they've done such an amazing job. They've set up this space in inside like an old retail unit in Swindon Town Centre. So it's quite a big space. It's roughly, I don't know about square meterage, but it's, it's got to be like three, three four thousand square metres or something. Double floor place. They got really nice dining tables in there. They got a little section where you can display your artwork. They got a little musical section if people want to come and play music and sing. And it's, yeah, it's a really lovely place. Um, so I've got a space in the shop from September to the end of December. And I went along to set that up today. And, um, yeah, it was the first one there. It looked quite bare at the moment, so I don't know how many other people were displaying, but I filled up one shelf, and if I can get the whole whole space underneath, I'll just fill it up with other pieces. So... Um, and I wanted to share the point about I'm selling most of the prints for around one ninety nine, and as a lot of you know, as an artist, there's all kind of rules around when you do limited prints or or stuff like that. You have to um, divide it by the divide how many prints by the uh, the price of the artwork, but. I just love the idea of loads of local people owning my art, enjoying it, and in in the future, 10, 20, 30, 40 years time, then they can say they bought a slart piece for one ninety nine. That would give me great satisfaction. Um, but yeah, it's not all about that, but it's... Yeah, a lot of it is just getting the work out there. Um, yeah, so that was all set up and uh, ready to go from from Monday, I guess. So I think it's closed tomorrow. And then next thing, working on the Memento Vivere. I think that's how you pronounce it. I should know how to pronounce it properly. Vivere or Vivit. The, the, I can't even say it, Vivere. Vivere sounds better, doesn't it? have to double check that, the pronunciation. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so doing bits and pieces on that. I wanted to um, send out some teaser. Don't want to bother with email because it's so oversaturated. I want to send out some things in the post that are basically little teasers with the date in in Latin, uh, or Latin, Roman numerals, basically saying save the date, um, so people won't know what it is exactly, just to save the date for 6th of September 2025. So yeah, um, the main thing <clears throat> I need to do, I think it'll be next week or the week after, is sort out the... Um, Logistics and pay, not logistics, the actual payment of booking the the venue. So it's finally it's been penciled in, but I need to officially secure it so then I can start creating a timeline. Um, basically, from a year from sixth of September this year to sixth September twenty twenty five. So I've got plenty of time to plan, but. I'm not going to rest on my laurels and wait. 
and leave it to last minute because I want to want it to be the best exhibition it can be and put everything into it so yeah I am very excited about it it's for those who have, you don't know it's going to be in a in a crypt in under St Pancras Church in London uh, so it's in fairly central London around Euston and King's Cross area I had a weird thought the other day that I've actually been there um I don't know if it is the same place, but I went to see a crypt years ago when I was running anxiety groups, which sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud, running an anxiety group from a, from an old crypt. Um, but I think... <clears throat> I don't think it is the same place because I'm sure it was kitted out with um, like office equipment and stuff like that. But anyway, I digress. Just speaking out... Just thinking out loud now. Um, but yeah... That's all to report on this week. Um, please let me know in the comments what what has been your highlight of the week. What have you been up to? I really enjoy people engaging with the post, so please don't be shy and yeah, tell me what's been going on. All right, take care, everyone. See you later.